Time is now 917, and for more than a century, Cleveland has relied on a hidden underground energy network. Well, today it powers skyscrapers, cuts emissions, and drives downtown's next wave of development. In this Mission Possible, our David Greenberg shows how it works. The Cleveland skyline would look different if it weren't for what is below downtown streets. 15 miles of underground piping form a closed loop that begins and ends at Cleveland Thermals plant on Hamilton Avenue. We produce hot water, steam or chilled water from this central location and distribute it to all of the buildings through underground piping. The system connects about 90 downtown buildings, supplying heating and cooling from one central source. Without the need for rooftop boilers, chillers, and cooling towers, buildings gain valuable usable space, often with the best views in the city while keeping operating costs down. So you don't have your, the maintenance of your boilers, your chillers, your cooling towers. It's some of the most costly and maintenance intensive systems of these commercial buildings. Some of Cleveland's most recognizable office towers, apartments and government facilities rely on district energy, the service provided by Cleveland Thermal. When the company switched from coal to natural gas, emissions dropped by 84 percent and exploring renewable energy is the next step. You're able to make use of waste heat recovery and you know, low carbon technologies that just don't make sense on an individual building scale. We are part of the fabric of, of what downtown is and we have been here from the inception. The system's origins date back to 1894 on Canal Road. It started with a power plant that had excess steam, so they started piping it to buildings to be able to utilize for heating, and it has grown ever since then. Today, three huge boilers and four chillers powered the network that keeps downtown comfortable and keeps major development projects moving. We're saving them capital costs that they could now use in other parts of the building or maybe, you know, future development. I mean, we're talking like millions. It could really help projects move quicker, get off the ground faster. David Greenberg, 3 News.